Brian, John Lansdowne's talked about the belief that you all have in the quality of this squad. How confident are you that these players can compete at the top of the championship? Yeah, I think everybody in the summer was happy with how we'd recruited. Um, it's, a, it's a squad that should be at the top end of the division. So yeah, I think there's a lot of belief in the building. There's a lot of belief in the staff. And um, yeah, that's a definite for us this season is to be at the top end. So the, the very fine margins in, in football, particularly in this league, Brian, what's required to take us from where we are now, 15th, further up the table? Well, I think we, we need to be us. I think we're, we're clear now in how we want to play, how we want to be. We want to be a front foot team. We want to be aggressive. We want to play forward. We want to get, we've got pace in the team. We want to utilise that. Defenders in this division find us hard to defend against when we're playing well and when we're up against them. So we want to be a front foot team that attacks teams and be exciting. I think that's what the fans want to see and that's what we want to see as a football club. So when you're looking for a new head coach, how important is it that that philosophy is basically part of that recruitment process? Yeah, very much so. The, the, the next head coach who comes into the football club has got to develop this team into the way we want to play as a football club. And then you'll see a lot of young players coming through the academy into the team because they're doing it for the, last, the two, three years before. And the coach has got to develop the team into how we want it as a football club. It's going to stay that way. We're going to be that way. We're going to play that way. And then it's going to be a long-term thing for the football club. So the coaches will have to come in and do and play exactly that way. There was some recruitment during the summer. Um, that recruitment, were you happy with that? And you know, what about suggestions from fans that perhaps money wasn't invested in enough players or the right type of players to take us forward? Yeah, we invested well in the summer. We, we got Ross McCrory in from Aberdeen. Unfortunately, he's picked up an injury. We, Jason Knight, Rob Dickey. You know, we brought Taylor Hickman in on loan with a view to a permanent. Hayden Roberts came in, left back cover for Pringy. So everybody was really happy with the recruitment and the, and the squad. We had two players in every position. There was real competition. So the squad is really competitive and, and, a, and the best group of players we've had at this football club for a long time because we're now recruiting into a way of playing so that it's easier to recruit. It narrows down the players we want to recruit because they've got to fit into our style of play. And I think it's a really good competitive group of players. And when they're all fit, there'll be real competition. So we've got a lot of players under contract now and looked after, there's Zach Viners and, and your Rob Atkinson, and your George Channers and your, and your Cameron Pring. So we're, we're in a really good place. I think we've got three players out of contract next summer. So we're, we're in a, we've got a squad that's built to play the way we want to play. There are a lot of injuries at the moment. Coupled with that is talk about having a, a smaller squad than we have done in the past. What are your thoughts? Well, it's been a problem. You know, I think we've um, when you when you have a, a tight squad, you have to 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 make sure the players are trained a certain way to play the way we want to play. And obviously, we've um, we fell short a little bit on that with the um, with the amount of injuries we've had. Um, and everybody agreed before the season started we would have that sort of twenty-two man squad. And if there's one or two injuries go down, then we've got young Ephraims who'd, who've had the opportunity. Joseph James Saturday, Jamie Knight, Labelle. We are running with a nice tight squad that everybody's happy with, but when you get 10, 12 injuries, it's an issue. But we're, we're hopeful they're going to come back soon. They won't be rushed, but we, we want them back. And when they're back, we want them fit and to stay fit. You know, it's a really important part of, uh, especially the way we're playing and the high intensity that these people, these players get looked after and they, uh, they're they fit enough one to do it. And then we keep them fit. So we've got a full squad to choose from. You know Ali Hines and Khalifa Sisse well. Um, what will they bring to the, the first team environment? Well, Ali's had the under 21s playing extremely well for the last two, three years. And over the last 18 months, the way we want to play. So he's very clear. I think all the fans who came to watch the, the game against Spurs the other Monday in the Premier League Cup saw a really aggressive, high-press team that gave them major problems. And Spurs were a fantastic team, top of their league. So yeah, he understands the way the club want to play and he'll go in to, uh, to supplement Curtis and help him try to implement that. What kind of platform is there for a new head coach to come in? Well, there's good stability at the football club and at the training ground. There's, there's really good people to work around the new head coach and to help him. And obviously the training ground is, uh, is second to none. So there's a lot of positives about the football club. You know, we're in a really good place. You know, we've got, as I said before, we've got good players. We've got a good academy. So it's set up nicely for... Uh, for someone to come and take forward.